Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. I'm so glad you could join me today. On my channel, you will find farmhouse decor galore. I love doing farmhouse decor, and I especially love doing thrift store flips, some trash to treasure, and budget-friendly home decor items. If you like seeing that kind of content, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and stick around a while. Today I'm using some springform pans to create an enamel look tiered tray. You'll probably recognize some of these pans. They're used to make cheesecake because the bottom pops right out of them. There's a latch that allows the bottom to just open up and then you've got your cheesecake all set to go. So what I decided to do was paint these white. So I have this larger one at the bottom. I had used this for a different project earlier. That's why it has those little bead feet on the bottom of it. I'm using my Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I'm gonna give everything two good coats. This is the smaller size pan. I got both of these together as a set at the thrift store for $5. And can you believe they were still in the plastic? So clearly somebody had these, didn't know what to do with them and decided to just give them away. So, hey, their trash, my treasure. I'm gonna give this little one a couple of coats of white Rust-Oleum chalk paint and let them dry. I started drilling a hole on the bottom, but then realized I needed a larger drill bit. So I'm using this half inch spade drill bit to go through this bottom wood piece that was attached from a previous project. It's just going to give the tray a little bit more sturdiness. If you've ever experienced working with spring form trays, that bottom is a little flexible. So I wanted it to be nice and sturdy for this tray. I'm going to be using a little dowel, but which is actually the handle of a foam paintbrush. I always keep them. If the foam brush is no good, you can just unscrew it and throw the brush away and you've still got a nice little piece of dowel. This is going to help support the centerpiece that is going to be the stand part of the tray. Using my hacksaw and miter box, I'm just going to cut the dowel piece in half. Can you all guess what this is from? It's actually a rolling pin. I took off the handles. This was something that is available at my local Dollarama store for $4. I had previously stained it, but now I'm just going to paint it black. The paint I'm using is just black acrylic paint and some baby powder, which makes it into a chalky finish. The recipe that I use is usually a two to one. So two parts paint and one part baby powder and shake the bejeebies out of it. It goes on really nice and smooth and dries super fast because the baby powder is what absorbs the moisture. I'm also going to paint one end of one of the half pieces of dowel because that part is going to be sticking up a little bit on the top part of the tray. These pans are perfect for creating an enamel look because they have a rim on them already. When I go thrifting, I'm always on the lookout for some vintage enamel pieces. They're really hard to come by. So if you see some, snap them up because they are really fun to use in farmhouse decor. This video is part of a challenge that's hosted by Leah over at Junkernecker and Melissa from Melissa Makes It DIY. I would love for you to go over to their channels, hit that red subscribe button and give them your support. There's also going to be a playlist link down in my description box and you're gonna see tons of trash to treasure and thrift store flips, all doing some two tiered and three tiered trays. So make sure you go check it out. Since this bottom pan already had some feet on the bottom, I didn't need to add anything, but I am just going to paint them black so they match in with the theme of this tray. 
Now comes the fun part. I'm going to assemble this and cross my fingers that it turns out the way I have it pictured in my head. I think it will. I'm tapping these dowels into the ends of the rolling pin and that's going to give me the sturdiness that I need for the tray. I'm using no more nails to attach the two of these together. I'm using my finger to just put a generous amount of the no nails adhesive on the dowel and the rolling pin. Then I'll use some hot glue around the outside edge to just give it that extra hold while the no nails glue is drying. I did the same technique for the bottom tray and now I'll just slide the top tray right on top of that dowel and hold it in place until the hot glue dries. Here's where you can see the little piece of dowel sticking up on the top tray and that's why I painted it black. For some added security I'm going to place a generous amount of hot glue around the dowel that's sticking out on the bottom pan. I am really happy with how my tray turned out. It is exactly how I envisioned it in my head. I hope you like it too. I'd like to thank Leah at Junkernecker and Melissa at Melissa Makes It DIY for hosting this challenge. It sure was a lot of fun. If you like this kind of content, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and the blue bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.